Hi, welcome to Jackie Burns Creations. It is September Flippin' Friday. It's put on by JB from Border Bananas. Jamie is a really great thrifter. I always get so excited when she puts up a video. And I really like it when she goes thrifting with Nicole and Robin. Cool ladies. Go watch them. Well, I had a neighbor give me this little cabinet and I had it sitting on my porch for two years and I finally figured I better go out and refinish it. I'm surprised it stood up to the weather, but you can see it really need, needed some work. And I decided it would be perfect to put my cricket on. I put it in the uh, spare bedroom with my computer and a printer and the cricket. So I got me a new little hand sander and went to town, wiping out the inside. It was a good day to do it because it was kind of windy. It blew the dust away, but I'm wiping the whole thing down. Getting all the dust off of it. I think they had the top for this and somebody built a cabinet or they had the cabinet and put it on there. I decided to spray the inside with the white paint just to clean it up. I wiped it out really well, but I thought, well, it'll help seal out any smells or anything. And I used just the cheap 97 cents white from Walmart. It's good for a cheap job like that. But you can kind of see where the lines are on the wood where I sanded. It's, it was kind of a rough hewn bunch of logs. Built really sturdy. Should have had my little handle out, but I didn't. I wasn't too worried about the hardware. Okay, the paint I'm using is called DIY, and I got it, it's made by a lady in California named Debbie, and I got it at Jamie Ray Vintage in Lehigh. And some of you have probably heard of Jamie Ray. I'll put her link down in the description box. But this is a natural product says not to use it right out of the can to pour it on a tray so you don't contaminate it because it is a natural product it's based its base is clay but you can put it over any kind of surface without doing a lot of sanding but i still wanted to do my sanding and i think it's a really pretty blue it does when it dries it does dry lighter than what it's going on. You can see some spots where it was starting to dry a little bit. It does dry really fast, but you can also use a heat gun to dry it. And I, I was very impressed with it. It's the first time I've used it. And I was very impressed at how it went on. It 
So you can see the difference of how it, it goes on. It's a big difference when it's drying. When you put a white wax or a clear wax over it, it will look dark, but as the wax cures and dries, it'll go lighter again. So I didn't do the top. I sanded the top down because I wanted to make it natural. And I took it inside and I wet distressed it. Took a rag and you can just rub it and get some wet distressing on it. And it wet distresses really, really nice. You can see my Halloween stuff all over the place. Halloween and fall stuff all over the place. I hadn't decorated for fall yet. No, well, I'm actually still working on it. And here it's middle of September. Well, even the paint, I guess, as the paint wears, it... Uh, dries harder and harder. The more it cures. It's the perfect size to put all my supplies inside. And like I say, my Cricut on top. And I've got another thing I'm going to refinish that I picked up the thrift store to put beside the Cricut to help hold just squares of paper. Okay, this paper is, it's a tissue paper, but it's a heavier weight and it's very large. You could cover a whole side of a dresser or cabinet with it but uh, I just want to I'm just uh, I just want to cover that front panel and what I'm doing is I'm just kind of running the scissors to see where I need to cut it but it's, it's great. I've used it before, and it is fun. And this was also Jamie Ray Vintage. Her and her husband designed this. He's very good with the computer, and his designs are great. I just picked up some new ones for Christmas, and they look like old Christmas cards. I'll have to show you, to, show you them really, really soon. but I thought the colors matched great. Now you're supposed to put it on with one of their sealers, but uh, I just use Mod Podge. There I go to get my Mod Podge. And Bella's helping me. We're sad because Bella moved. She actually belonged to my friend who was living in the basement and uh, she moved out to a different apartment, and Bella's been with us for nine years, but uh, she's really our puppy, too. I'm her second mother, and my husband adored her, and she adored my husband. But she's my great helper. She loves to help me. She's a Cocker Spaniel party color. She helps me cook all the time. But we still get to babysit. 
We had her for about two weeks while Lana was moving. Where normally she'd maybe come up here in the day when Lana was working before she retired, and then she'd go down stairs at night. But when Lana retired, then she stayed down there more. But Robert would take her for walkies every day, twice a day. I need to get him another dog so he can go walkies. I should get me a dog so I can go walkies. Okay, I'm putting this in place, and it's really great because you can pick it up and move it. It doesn't wrinkle. It, it's, a, I can't remember what pound they said it was, 80 pounds or something like that. It's really, really nice paper. And they have a lot of beautiful designs. If you saw that Lazy Susan I did with the chickens on it, that came from some of that paper. And look how pretty. Okay, you can see I'm starting to wax this. I decided to do it with the dark wax. And it's a DIY brand. And put it on and then rub it off. And I noticed I had just a teeny bit of paint on the top. So I actually went and got the rag wet and uh, wiped it off and then covered it with wax again. Like I say, I really liked how this worked. Like I said, I got a white wax and a dark wax. And I decided to take the dark wax to the paint. I like the look of it. And you can see I went around where the paper is, and I made that darker. I used just regular acrylic paint for that. And I, th I think it came out really pretty. I'm, I'm happy with it. It's got that kind of dark, chippy, aged look. Well, I thank you for watching, and I hope you come again real soon. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that button, help my channel to grow. Okay, go out and spread some kindness.